Hello and well met. In this video I will do my best to explain how to set up and play Madoka Magica the Battle Pentagram in Vita 3K. Before we get started you will need three things. First, you will need to download Vita 3K. Link is in the description. Secondly, you will need to download the pre-translated files. Post number 79 in the translation thread contains a link to them via base 64. I have included a link in the description to said post. I'm opting to use the pre-translated files because it's easier. Normally, you'd need to patch the game files yourself, but myself and others encountered errors during that process. These pre-translated files are already patched and ready to use, which simplifies everything and ensures the game is successfully patched without issues. Thirdly, you will need a copy of the game itself. Similarly, I have provided a link to the game via Base64 in the video description. You'll download a zip file that contains the game and some DLCs packaged together as a NoNPDRM. Unlike PKG files, which are encrypted and require installing the game's license to decrypt and run, this zip file has everything packaged together for a quick and easy install. As mentioned, only some DLCs are included. Here is an image showing which DLC costumes are available and which are not. I apologize, I have no idea where the rest of the DLCs can be found. Once you have everything you need we can begin by setting up Vita 3K. We'll begin by extracting the files. I'm going to rename the folder to Vita 3K. You can leave the path as default or change it to wherever you want. Next, you'll need to install the firmwares. Click the buttons to download the firmware. I already have them downloaded so I'll just install them. Once that is done complete the initial setup of Vita 3K. Now that Vita 3K is set up we can install the game. You can either go to file and then install zip. Or, you can drag and drop. I'll just drag and drop the zip file into the emulator. Once installed we can then install the translation via the pre-translated files. Right-click the game and open the application folder. Here, we just need to copy the files to the application folder. With that the translation is successfully installed. Before we continue, let's adjust some settings. In the GPU tab there are two renderers to choose from. OpenGL and Vulkan. OpenGL has better compatibility but Vulkan has superior performance. It is very important to note that there are some instances where you will encounter a gray screen bug and a half black screen bug when using Vulkan. The gray screen bug occurs when Hamura is on screen. Gertrude's familiar, Adalbert, is on screen. or when Kyoko uses her alter ego skills. 
The half-black screen bug occurs when Walpurgis Nick's red nose familiar is on screen. These bugs can be resolved by changing the renderer to OpenGL. However, OpenGL is not perfect. Most noticeably, all particle effects will not render correctly. It also has slightly worse performance compared to Vulkan. Here are some examples. Time Stop Class 4, Hazardous Materials Elsa Maria's Familiars, Sebastian's Shadow Magical Girl's Dash Attack It is important to note that when using OpenGL, make sure Disable Surface Sync is checked or the game will have noticeably worse performance. In short, I recommend switching between OpenGL and Vulkan as you play through the game. You can press the G key to toggle the top menu while in-game to access config and settings. Renderers aside, let's adjust some graphical options. Let's set the screen filter to FXAA. Upscale the resolution to 1080p. Set the anisotropic filtering to 16x. Have the shader cache checked. And enable the FPS hack for 60 FPS. In the system tab we'll change the enter button to be circle. The game doesn't support PSTV mode so we'll just leave it alone. In the emulator tab I'm personally going to uncheck Discord presence and show touchpad because they're annoying in my opinion. You can also change your screenshot format. If you take a lot of screenshots I recommend leaving it as JPEG because PNGs are a much larger file size. Next, let's look at controls. I'm using a PS4 controller in Vita 3K auto detects it. I'm not sure about other controllers but I think it should auto detect them too. Since the game doesn't support PSTV mode you can't rebind inputs in-game to buttons such as R2 and right stick click. Instead, you can use a gamepad input mapper, such as Antimicro, to rebind the emulator keyboard controls to your controller inputs. Link is in the description if you also want to use Antimicro. By default, the game has sprint set to circle and lock-on set to L1. The emulator's keyboard controls, by default, have circle set to C and L1 set to Q. Personally, I have set the C key to R2 to sprint and the Q key to right stick click to lock on. Having right stick click as lock on is convenient because if you tilt forward on the right stick, lock on will target high priority enemies like bosses and mini bosses. At the bottom of keyboard controls you can also bind a button to take screenshots if you want. I'll set mine to F12. Once you take a screenshot, they'll be located in a screenshot folder where your Vita3k.exe is. I believe I have covered everything. With that you should be good to go. For gameplay related information please consult the Puella Magi wiki for information like command lists and general game progression. If you have any questions feel free to ask and I'll try to help if I'm able.